Hey, this is the video for 3.3, Molecular versus Empirical. So go ahead and set up a new entry in your Cornell notes. Remember to start a new page for this video. Also check out the essential vocabulary. Today we'll be discussing molecular formula and empirical formula. So the molecular formula, simply put, it's the formula that contains the number of atoms of each element in a compound. So you're going to be looking, for example, at glucose, C6H12O6. We have six carbons, we have 12 hydrogens, and we have six oxygens. And we put them in subscripts. So we have C6, that means six carbons, that means 12 hydrogens, that means six oxygens. Now the empirical formula is simply the ratio of the elements in a compound. So molecular formula indicates every single element that is accounted for. Empirical formula, basically you're simplifying it. So we have six, 12, and six, but here we have one part, two parts, and one part. In other words, if I took C6H12O6 and divided by, the, uh, by what they have in common, they all have six in common, divide by six. So the empirical formula is CH2O. So we're gonna practice, and really all you wanna do is you wanna figure out, can you simplify any of these? P2O5, can you simplify that? You cannot. So the molecular formula and the empirical formula are actually the same. With H2SO4, we have two hydrogens, one sulfur, four oxygens. If you only have one of a particular element, that molecular formula is also the empirical formula. C8, C6H8O6, well we can't divide by eight, we can't divide by six, but we could divide by two. So that's C3H4O3. And the last one, C4H2N2O4, we divide by two, we have C2HNO2. Now, in this class in chemistry, if you ever put a one as a subscript, are you wrong? No, you're not. However, you may get, you know, somebody might look at you and think, oh, you really don't understand chemistry. So avoid it, but just understand that the one is understood, just like writing one X in algebra. So I would like you to respond to this check for understanding. Pay attention to this molecule right here. Uh, I hope that this video was informative. I thank you for your attention, and I will see you soon.